Hey folks, P. Bissardo from the ECF. I am reviewing tonight um, what I think is a, is a very important product um, and a product that is long overdue for the vaping community. So um, let's go through this. What I have here uh, is a sample. I don't have the real kit yet, um, but from what I understand, it's coming soon. Before we start the review, I have a question for you. And the question is, what is the nick level of your juice? Um, not the not the nick level that you ordered, and not the nick level that's printed on your bottle. But what is the actual nick level of your juice? Unfortunately, the answer is probably you don't know. Um, we don't know. It, it, they're not a regulated product, and I know that word scares a lot of people. Um, I certainly don't want it, them to be regulated, um, but we really have to put our trust and faith in uh, the juice vendors are out, that are out there. Uh, that are uh, hopefully they're doing a good job with the um, the measurements and they're being truthful about what's in the juice. Now, most vendors that I've talked to, they seem like good enough people. Okay, but you know, people are people. Okay, so who's to say oh man you don't want nobody's getting a throat hit out of our juice you know um, or you know it could be the exact opposite of that I don't want to make my own juice in any way shape or form um, I'll get it from the vendors but I don't I don't know how much this stuff costs them to make maybe nicotine is expensive maybe they're not putting enough in it um, to save their costs. So basically, unfortunately, the, the answer is that we really don't know what's in the juice. I would also hope that, um, that my body would tell me if there was something uh, way off. I'm lightheaded and dizzy. Um, there's, there's too much nicotine in it. Um, I'm not getting my craving satisfied and I'm hitting it all the time. There's not enough nicotine in it. Now I do know, um, and I've read the threads about the acid test, um, you have a solution and you, you drip some drops of acid into uh, into the solution and then it changes color. That's really not something that I'm interested in getting involved with. So a product like this is needed for the vaping community. Um, and I can't wait for this to become available. Um, this is a product called Nick Strip. It's a nicotine test strip. Um, I'm, I'm told by the manufacturer that you're going to get 20 of these in a kit um, along with a color guide um, and they're going to be made available for about ten dollars for the kit um, if you take a look at what these look like they're really really tiny um, it looks like just a little pad um, a little pad on a, on a tiny piece of paper you get a better view right there that's what it looks like um, it also comes with a um, nice little color uh, chart. Here's the color chart. You know, you're not going to be able to see this at all. Um, so I'm going to uh, take some pictures and, and put them up as we talk about this. The instructions say that you take your liquid, you put one single drop on the pad, you blot it dry, and then you let it wait for five minutes. You let it sit for five minutes. So that's what we're going to do. This liquid, uh, I'm not going to say who this is from, but this is a 12 milligram liquid. Okay, 12 milligrams. Here's the test strip. We're going to drop one drop on it. Okay, so there's a drop. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but the color um, is already starting to change. Okay, so it was like a, a uh, um, almost like a light yellow before. Now it's turning like a greenish color. Uh, so I'm going to blot this dry. Okay, and now we're going to let this sit for five minutes, and then we'll come back, and I'll put it on the um, on the color chart, and we'll uh, we'll uh, get an idea of of where we are and 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 how this is working. Okay, so five minutes. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Uh, we I've given it the uh, the full five minutes, and. Um, I put it on the color chart and it's it's a little bit difficult to read because between what I've noticed is that they they um, they broke this up by the the typical uh, nicotine uh, strengths out there uh, they have the left side uh, starts with a yellow color and it's zero milligrams 
then it goes to a like a light green at eight milligrams um, kind of like a dark really dark green at 12 milligrams um, gets into a bluish color at 18 milligrams um, and then a, a little bit more blue like a lightish blue at 36 milligrams and then almost like a, a like a deep blue or, or, or could even be like a violet at uh, 56 or greater than 56 milligrams I hope nobody's out there vaping that stuff um, so I took a couple pictures and sure enough um, this is showing me and again be, around the 12 milligram part it's tough but it's showing me that it's it's somewhere between I guess 10 milligrams and 14 milligrams um, and sure enough this liquid is a, is a 12 milligram liquid and uh, I guess that's you know right where I would expect it to be so I think I you know I think this is fantastic I'm gonna try this out with um, several different strengths I have some lower strengths, so I hope to see that that light green um, now there is one important issue um, about this product that you should know about um, it, it's fake I mean I made the whole thing up it's just um, it's just a pool test strip you know that you, you dip in your swimming pool and it changes color um, I dipped the liquid I dropped the liquid onto all the pads until one changed color and I made up a fake chart it's all fake um, but I think you uh, you can see that uh, we do need a product like this we we should know what the levels are um, so to all of you chemists out there and all of you entrepreneurs out there um, I think there's a market for this product and uh, when you come out with it and you make millions I want a percentage uh, that's my review and I'll see you again soon I wonder if any of the juice vendors were watching this going oh shit.